Uh, sure. And a black soul gem. Nothing in it. Personally, I think I would like it better if you had filled it so I don't have to. But I guess I'll take what I can get. I'm not sure if human souls are ranked. They probably are. Like, it's probably better if I get an Ascendant Necromancer as opposed to a uh, novice one, you know? But it's still kind of weird to think about souls that way. And I haven't really had to do that too much since Morrowind, when I, like, had a very specific set of enemies. Like, these are the enemies that you kill. These are the ones that have the best souls. And I found what I came for. That was the last guy. Uh, we can read about the Lava Jack. I already have it, so we might as well read a little bit about it. Pretty cool, the Lava Jack. Little boy shouldn't summon up the forces of eternal darkness unless they have an adult supervising. I know, I know. But on that sunny night on the fifth of first seed, I didn't want an adult. I wanted Hermaeus Mora, the Daedra of Knowledge, learning gums and varnishes. You see, I was told by a beautiful large-breasted man who lived under the library in my hometown that the fifth of first seed was Hermaeus Mori Mora's night. And if I wanted the Ogma Infinium, the Book of Knowledge, I had to summon him. And when you're new, when you're the new king of solitude every bit of knowledge helps normally you need a witch's coven or a mage's guild or at least matching pillowcase and sheets to invoke a prince of oblivion the man under the library showed me how to do it myself he told me to wait until the storm was at it at its height before shaving the cat i've forgotten the rest of the ceremony it doesn't matter someone appeared who i thought was hermaeus mora the only thing that made me somewhat suspicious was hermaeus mora from what i read was a big blobby multi-eyed clawed monstrosity and this guy looked like a waistcoated bank also, he kept calling himself Shea Gareth, not Hermaeus Mora. Still, I was so happy to have successfully summoned Hermaeus Mora, these in inconsistencies did not bother me. He had me do some things that didn't make any sense to me beyond the more scope, breadth, and ken, I suppose. And then his servant happily gave me something he called the Wabajack Wabajack Wabajack. He, he says that a few times. Maybe the Wabajack is is the book of knowledge. Maybe I'm smarter because I know cats can be bats, can be rats, can be hats, can be gnats, can be that's, can be this is. And that doors can be bores, can be s snores, can be floors, can be roars, can be spores, can be yours, can be mine. It must be s I must be smart for the interconnective system is very clear to me. Then why or wherefore do people keep calling me mad? Wabajack, wabajack, wabajack. Somehow that made sense to me. I might also be crazy at this point. And maybe you guys are too, because uh, I actually know what the Wabajack does, and I have one. Broken Azura Star. Damn it. Bring the star to Aranea or bring it to Melitar. Bring it to Aranea. We're going back to the trunk. Melon. Melon. Varen's. What did it say? Malin Varen's Grimoire. Okay, the Black Star, an achievement of magic, magic over Daedra by Malin Varen. Master Enchanter! Though some scoffed, some scorned at the very notion of experimenting on a Daedric artifact, I have succeeded where the ignorant and superstitious would not even dare to try. The Black Star. My achievement over the Daedric Lord Azura, a re-envisioning, a remastering of the ultimate soul gem, shall become the vessel of my immortality. Final proof that mortals can live as indefinitely as the denizens of oblivion. The visions, the voices that Azura has sent to taunt me, while some called me mad, I knew the truth. Nothing can be held sacred in the pursuit of advancing the very nature of magic itself. Let the Daedra send their foul images into my mind. They have given me the burning desire and unrelenting discipline to shut out all influence, all morality. My disciples and I have built a new site, free of the prying eyes of those primitive minds in Winterhold, Fort Illinalta. We have been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which led to the disruption of the island. But a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, and beneath the waters of Lake Illinalta has been the perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. So it turns out this guy did it. I actually want to just go ahead and take that. That'll probably be useful. Oh, I already searched him, didn't I? So everybody died. No real shocker there. And here we can find the chest uh, with some good stuff in it. Definitely some good stuff. And I think that's it. 
found what we came for azura star is definitely a prize that is worthy of a, a dungeon of that size hell like even like three four times that size it still would have been worth it why are you telling me to go in there they're not really they're just kind of telling me to warp on out of here all right like i said we're gonna go to the shrine of azura and we're gonna return that to Erinea. um we might as well get the reward for this and be nice to Azura so that Azura lets us use the star and all that. Right now I need to climb the freaking statue thing again. And then we can look at some more under boob. Because that's really all I can focus on when I'm up there. Like, if you had built it further out, it would have been a much nicer view of the statue. But from here, it's just all no under boob. shall come to me, for I live under Azura's wisdom. Her foresight protects me. Her insight sustains me. You're just daring me to kill you right now. Like, she will protect me. She will tell me all that happens. Just, really? Oh, I, I can't actually kill her. He storms off, so. I guess that answers my question. She's actually, she, she's actually protected. Azura Star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Fair enough, she's actually protected. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Yeah, you knew Azura was gonna do that. Here, take it. I will commune with Azura. Seems like a very easy... Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star. I like she your wishes boobs. to speak to you herself. Please. Place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Okay. I think we got this. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight, and rescued my star from Malin Vera. heard Malin. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. You get a different voice actors? Is there any way to cleanse the star? Yeah, like, then why don't you do it? Let's not piss her off. We're trying to be on her side here. So how do I cleanse the star? I want the damn star. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. I could if you grant me a hundred. No, so only years. one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. I'm not too sure about that one. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Shouldn't be too tough of a fight, but that's kind of scary. All right, let's enter the star. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Oh, I assume my death still counts. Ah. Uh. Uh. My disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Yeah, we'll see about that. Why? There's something different about you. You could actually kill me. You can't escape your fate, Merlin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. Yeah, they don't really like that. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. All right, and then he just runs off. Oh shit, I gotta take on... Oh, okay, whoa. Whoa, I gotta take on Dramora here. Uh, I did not anticipate having to take on Dramora. Holy crap, I don't know if I'm ready for that. All right, down, go, down goes the Dramora. Can I loot him? Is he lootable? He is, and he's got a heart and I'm taking it. The thing is awesome. Oh, I'm gonna need uh I'm gonna need fire resistance. How many of those do I have? I only got the one. Shit. Should have brought more, but I didn't I didn't know I was gonna be taking off the power. I think it is a rank and not his name. Jesus Christ. This guy. I'm taking your heart. Yeah, this is not really helping all that much in terms of the uh, fire. Jeez. Oh, this 
just turned out to be one hell of a quest at the end of it. No wonder the master was so easy. Where is he? <laughs> I just took on Dramora, dude. Do you think I'm scared of you? Uh, dare fight a Dunmer? Yeah, I do, actually. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Alright, I did it! I searched him, but I, I got what I wanted. You can, you can free me now. Yeah, wait. Maybe that is good. I don't know. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. Damn right I did. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Sweet. I dislike the danger of looking into my future. What does that have to do with anything? It's like, whatever. Thank you. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Is that a threat? Kinda sounds like it could be a threat. Where'd the, uh... Huh? You. How you doing, Aranea? While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. Her last? I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not real big on mages following me around. I, I have had people use magic around me, and it tends to hit me just as often as it hits them. Thank you. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. Yeah, but, uh... Uh, so she's not giving you any more visions? Oh, the last one that she's giving you. Is that what she meant by her last? No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the twilight, and I was on my own. Just like the rest of us. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties. But for the first time, I feel... alone. Are you hitting on me here? Alright. Until next time, Guardian. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna have a mage. Like I said, I don't, I don't like the sound of that. Um, do they actually tell me how much the uh, the thing is? Yeah, it's valued at a thousand. It doesn't even weigh anything. That thing is awesome. I love Azura Star, and I'll be using it probably quite a bit. All right, where's Markarth? All right, we'll go to the Understone Keep. We'll talk to Calselmo. I forgot why I needed to talk to him. But it sounded important for something. I'll probably take this away. So let's hope that he lived. He should live if he's in the uh, Understone Keep. I don't think anybody all that important died when <laughs> I let all the prisoners out and they killed people. That was a while ago, too. But... Is he that way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's over by the uh, the Dwarven Ruins. So he's he's already a fan of mine somewhat. Cause I, I helped him out with that. Oh, I can look, do I'm very too. busy, so this better be important. I'm told it is. I have things to study. What is it? Uh, you have you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. Is I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. That's great. Uh, can I see it? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Okay. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Do you remember me, though? But I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Why do I need this? Being an admirer. I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. Um, give me access or you'll regret it. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? Do you realize you that with- You think this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. 
I just took out Dramora, dude. Uh, how much is it gonna cost me here? While I no, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm what? Being an Maybe admirer. I should just get that mod. Sure I, I've tried to stay away from mods, to keep but my research a th this is starting to get annoying. I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Oh, for three. Forget Very it. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Is there anything? Gain entry to his museum. Just sneak it. I mean, we are the Thieves Guild after all. Uh, while I'm here, let's see if we can disenchant things. Um, oh, sweet. So I don't need to disenchant this anymore. I, I can do it with this. Boom. You can see how sometimes it goes up a lot, sometimes it goes down a little bit. Either way, that, that's all that I can do with that. Okay, so where am I going here? Really? <laughs> He's easily distracted. So let's uh, head out. <laughs> if they're just gonna point me right at it right there, then I'm gonna take advantage of it. Oh, that's right, it's on this side. We never did go this way. That's right. And there's nobody watching. And now we're in the Dwemer Museum. Maybe there's some uh, plate metal or something I can pick up along the way. All right, his Falmer translating guide. There must be a dozen men of them. called in his entire expedition. Uh, he every man is he good? Are you guys going to be mad? My order of the yard. Stop that's, right there. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I'd rather die than go to prison. Yeah. Oh, fuck Mark Hart. Mark Hart sucks. I've I'm suffered. killing all you guys, and that'll eliminate my army. As long as I kill everybody here, I've killed I've killed them before, right? Last wit. What do you mean, last witness killed? Last witness, and then 1,000. Yep, there we go. Last witness killed, and now I don't have a bounty. From the museum key. Like, honestly, it is not even worth the effort to, to try to sneak around. <laughs> I'm not the best sneaker. Uh, none of that is useful to me. As long as that co doesn't come alive, then I'm fine with that. Just cogs? Seriously? You guys got stuff working around here? Uh, that's just Falmer shit. I don't there's nothing in here that I want. Maybe there's something in here. How come it's not all the same key? Should be the same key, damn it. There we go. What do we got in here? Really? Nothing. Nothing good. At least. That sucks. Yeah, there was no way I was going to be sneaking around this. I'm curious. Well, oh, I have the key. Probably nothing out there is all that great, but this place is small, so I'm gonna search it now. Probably is where I wanna go. I'm kind of looking for something that's shiny and glowy and uh, doesn't weigh anything. Um, what do we have in here? See, I love this. I love that about this game. Don't take it in. And I'm gonna level up, sweet. Uh, we might as well do it now. Um, after, you know what, let's round off the stamina at 200. Even though last time kind of makes me think, oh, maybe I should level up something, something else. Uh, okay, I could do that. Skill enchantments on armor, stronger. Wasn't it, wasn't this one? That, like, sounded really good, Soul Siphon. Death blows to creatures, but not people. Trap 5% of the victim's soul recharging the weapon. This sounds like it could work out really well for me, so I'm going to go for it. Because I want to use enchanted weapons, and the reason that I haven't is because, well, they kind of, you know, undergo a... 
they undergo a lot of uh, wear and tear quickly when it comes to the enchantments, so I've been avoiding it. But if, uh, if that actually recharges it as well as I think it does, then that sounds good to me. Right around there somewhere. Looks good. Right in the middle there. Perfect. Gold, silver, gold necklace, silver necklace. He doesn't, he doesn't need any of that. That's not helping him any. Oh, plates. Freaking plates. They're good. They are good. And it doesn't necessarily look like we're going to be spending all that much time um, picking up shit, so that's good. Um, solid metal? Shit, I don't remember. It, that, it's too heavy. Never mind. Too heavy. There's some good stuff there. Wait. Remember, because it is a book that I want to get, isn't it? It's probably in the back, but I just want to make sure that it's not, you know, somewhere that I'm staring at right now. Uh, that's not that great. That kind of is. Scrap metal is somehow not good. <laughs> it's scrap metal, but it can't be used as scrap metal. Large strut, former strut I know works. That's why I'm picking that up. Uh, I didn't look on this side. I want to pick up too many. That's why. That's why. So we're going to drop one of those. Large drummer strut. There you go. Not useful. Alright, we'll look in here too. Once again, I'm pretty sure it's just in the back somewhere, but... If, if there's something good in here, then I want to grab it, but uh, there's not. None of that is particularly good for me right now. I have all of that, so we'll just head to the back. Like, why is there a Dwemer Museum that nobody's allowed in? That's kind of the question here. Why is nobody allowed in a museum? The whole purpose of it is to display things. Otherwise, it'd just be a collection, right? I mean, you can have a really nice collection that rivals museums, but if it's a museum, then that implies... Like, why not? I'm gonna melt it anyway. Nobody's gonna know about it. I can fight here? There's more people that I need to kill around here. Kill any intruders on site. I heard that. I heard that. Uh, petty soul gems are good. Uh, Ikintar's lab journal? Uncle Calselmo got back from Nzinchalef today. Lots of artifacts this trip. He even brought me something a spider that didn't completely shatter when the guard smashed it. He wants me to get it working again. My first big research project. Spider Centurion Research Week 1. I've reassembled the spider with spare parts from the museum. All the joints move, just not on their own. Uncle said the spider needed a control crystal with the right electroharmonic signature. The guards are looking out for one now. Spider Centurion Research Week 2. After yesterday's incident, I assembled a staff to work to hold the crystal. It actually works. When you use the staff, it creates a beacon of some kind, and the spider just walks on over to it. Better yet, it doesn't attack everyone on site now. Spider Centurion Week 3. Barely, it'll still attack, just not on site. During this morning's experiment, one of the newer guards was startled and drew his sword, and he was dead before anyone could react. Did it actually detect hostile intent? Week 4. Further testing confirms that the spider does seem to detect the intent of its controller in some way. Last week, it tried to defend me from a threat. This week, I snapped at a guard who interrupted my latest test, and it lashed out at him. Fascinating. Week 5. No one appreciates my work. Uncle Kelsemo is buried in his Falmer research and doesn't have time to help me with the spider anymore. The guards are all afraid of it. I keep telling them it's harmless as long as I keep it under control, but there, may, there have been too many accidents. They just don't believe me. I wanted to show the Yarl, but I can't seem to get the Spire to leave the lab. Looks like its control crystal only works up here. Maybe I can reattune the enchantment? 